Okay, guys, so it's been a long time coming, and I do apologize, but I was finally able to finish up the last field battle for the six-way $99 Baycaster shootout. And that, of course, is the three-quarter ounce top water lure. Now, it wasn't from lack of trying. I actually tried a couple of times earlier this summer, and I ran into a couple of problems, and, of course, the heat. But the main problem was that I lost one of these reels somewhere and I was actually able to find it a couple of days ago and I told myself it doesn't matter how long it takes I'm going to go out in the field and finish this test until I'm done. So let's get to these results. Okay guys, so first up we have the Accurist PT. We have the spool tension set to just minimize the side to side play. We have the internal brake set to one. And the external magnetic brake looks like it's on nine. So here we go. Okay guys, up next we have the Fuego CT. It's full tension set to just to minimize the side to side play. And the mag force dial is on 8. So here we go. Guys, up next we have the Revo X from Abu Garcia. Spool tension set to just minimize the side to side play. And the magnetic brake is set on here, whatever that is. Alright, let's go.
Okay guys, next up is the Luz Speed Spool LFS. Spool tension set to just minimize the side-to-side -side plate. And magnetic brake set to there. So let's go. Okay guys, up next is the 1.3 Origin C. I have spool tension set to just minimize the side to side play. Inside brakes set to two. So here we go. Okay guys, last but not least, we have the Shimano Casitas. Spool tension set to just minimize the side to side play. I have only one brake on inside, this one. And the external dial is set all the way up to six. Here we go. Okay guys, now before we get to the results of this test, I need to go over a couple of things real quick. Now originally, the test line and rod 
was supposed to be a Daiwa Tatula 6 foot 10 medium heavy and 15 pound trilene big game monofilament. I had to make some changes there. Now the line I downsized to the trilene big game still but I went with 12 pound instead and thankfully this is strong enough to hold up to casting this lure. Now the Tatula rod wasn't strong enough for my taste to be able to effectively cast that lure. So I went with the shorter rod, a six foot eight medium heavy Abu Garcia that had a higher lure rating. I believe it goes up to one and a half ounces. So it cast this lure a little bit easier. Now a couple of the casts for the Revo X were scrapped due to an SD card error, but fortunately I was able to record all the casts on my phone. Now just to give you guys a reminder, I set the benchmark for this lure at 180 feet. So that means in order to score points, each reel has to cast over 180 feet at least for this lure. Now that being said, disappointingly none of these reels hit that mark. Not even the Mighty Casitas. Now earlier this summer what I was trying to do to uh, you know, beat the heat, I was going to test three reels on one day and then come out the next day and test the remaining three. That way I wouldn't be out in the heat so long. Now, on that particular day, I believe I took the Casitas, the Speed Spool, and the Origin C out, and all of them were hitting around 180 foot. But that was with a pretty strong backwind. And now when I came out the next day with the remaining reels, there was no wind at all. So I decided to scrap those results because I didn't want to give, you know, three reels the advantage of backwind while the other three did not. So let's get to these results. Now coming in last place, shockingly, is the 1-3 Origin C. I thought this reel would really excel and probably possibly vie for the win but it comes in last place at 136 feet even. Coming in fifth place is the Daiwa Fuego CT at 136.8 feet. More on this later. Okay, coming in fourth place is the Abu Garcia Revo X at 142 feet even. Okay, coming in a Joint second place is the Acuris PT at 153.6 feet and the Luz Speed Spool LFS, surprisingly, at 153.6 feet. Now, the Luz had the longest cast between the two, but the PT was more consistent. But in the end, they tied for second place. So of course that means once again the winner of the test is the mighty Shimano Casitas at 161.8 feet. But that being said, even this reel did not hit the 180 foot benchmark I set. Now I will say that it wasn't entirely the reel's fault. I don't think I had a good enough rod to really effectively cast this lure like I liked it and the fact that there was a strong crosswind blowing in from left to right that affected the results so either way the results are the results and I'm not gonna go out there again because it took five hours to complete this test okay so let's talk about performance who was the performance winner and that of course non surprisingly everyone predicted this thing to win this whole whole thing the Shimano Casitas. Now this thing won every single of the five lure categories. It won the Senko Battle tied with Origin C. It won the Square Bill test. It won the Lipless Crank test easily. And it easily dominated the 1 8 ounce Minnow test. And of course it won the Topwater test easily as well. So who came in second place as far as performance overall? And that goes to the 1-3 Origin C. 
coming in third place, and this is kind of a shocker. And I say it's a shocker because it has the biggest and heaviest spool here. The Accurist PT comes in third place overall. Now coming in in fourth place are the remaining three. They actually tied for fourth place um, when I did my calculations as far as placings, etc., etc. So no surprise, the Casitas is the performance winner of this test. But let's talk about the biggest disappointment performance-wise. That is the Fuego. Now the Fuego had the second lightest spool here. The second, uh, I guess the second shallowest spool or held the second least amount of line. And of course it has the Daiwa MagForce Z, which allegedly is supposed to be the best magnetic brake system. But this thing only came in, the highest placing it took was, I believe, a third place, and that was in the square build contest. Everything else, it was uh, fourth place and below, and even came in last place in the lipless crankbait test. So this is the hugest disappointment performance wise in this whole test. Now the biggest surprise was the Accurist PT as I said before. Okay so now that we got performance out of the way let's talk about build quality. So that's when the Fuego leaps up to the top. This thing is the best built, most quality feeling reel here from its paint job to just how it feels. And a close second place I would say would be the Revo X. But the Fuego's paint job is a little smoother than the Revo X. It feels a lot better to the touch than the Revo X. And it's smooth, the um, Fuego is smoother as well. Now all these reels, except for one, have um, really good fit and finish. The speed spool was good, the Accurus was good, and the Casitas was excellent, but this has the only gloss paint job here, and of course this is a uh, composite frame. But uh, yeah, the Fuego takes the cake for, or takes the win for the best build quality and refinement. Now the worst, I wouldn't say build quality, but the worst paint job here is this Origin C. It's got this chalk white matte paint job that collects stains really easy and it just feels cheap. This feels like an unfinished paint job compared to the Fuego. But that being said, this is the smoothest reel here when you crank the handle. So this wins the smoothest cranking reel here. Okay, so let's talk about which reel gives you the most for your money. And that goes to the Accurist PT. This thing for 99 bucks gives you features of reels that are way more expensive. It's got an aluminum frame, aluminum handle side plate. It's got dual braking, magnetic and centrifugal, so you have a huge range of adjustments, which compensate, help it compensate for the heavy spool that it's got. Then it's got this flipping switch here for those of you who like to flip. So all that for 99 bucks. So that's a that's a steal. Okay. Now since it took me so long to finish out all these five tests, um, unfortunately the industry moves on. I shouldn't say unfortunately, but the industry moves at such a fast pace, especially for the $99 reel category that uh, five brand new reels have popped up since the introduction of this test. Um, I have two of the brand new ones, the SLX from Shimano and the CG80 from Daiwa. Um, so that means the Casitas is no longer available. I believe the Accurist PT is being replaced by a newer reel, so I believe it's a discontinued. And the speed spool has been replaced by a new speed spool. So I believe this may be uh, discontinued as well. Now, the One 3 has come out with a new $99 reel as well. 
and looking at the specs, I believe it's called the FB, Origin FB for some reason. It looks like it's basically an Origin C but painted matte black. I didn't see any anything else to differentiate it other than the color from this reel. So that's kind of confusing as to why 13 Fishing is doing that. Okay guys, so once again, the Casitas, just like everyone predicted, dominated everyone and easily won all five battles. And this may go down in history as the best performing $99 reel. And keep in mind this started life as a $120 reel. But uh, yeah, the Casitas is the winner. And I plan on doing another $99 reel battle probably in the next couple of years because doing these tests wear me out. But uh, okay guys, thanks a lot.